a woman who wanted to appear on the current season of The Bachelor has lifted the lid on what goes on in the horrendous auditions. The wannabe bachelorette spoke to Kiz101.1's Matt and Meshel on the condition of anonymity because she'd signed a confidentiality agreement when she made it through to the group audition stage. It's a group audition with 10 people and they start with getting everyone in a circle and you have to talk about yourself to everyone and why you're there, she told the radio duo. And then they pick one girl and they have to come into the middle of the group and you have to give them a compliment, not knowing them at all. After that they played three different songs and you had to stand up and dance to the song that you identified with. The woman said she didn't like any of the songs which included hits by Pink and Ed Sheeran, and in the end she was forced to get up and dance to Christina Aguilera's Dirty. There's four producers taking notes and looking at you, she explained about the awkward dance session. But the worst was yet to come. You had to pretend you were getting out of the limo and one of the producers pretended to be The Bachelor, the woman who didn't make it past the group audition stage told Matt and Meshel. You had to do the walk that they had to do when they first meet The Bachelor and then what you would say when you first met him. Some of the girls had full-on planned a speech but the mystery woman said she was too embarrassed to recall what she'd actually told the fake Bachelor. Another anonymous listener then rang into the radio show and claimed to have made it into the next round of auditions. After the group interview I had to go off and have a medical and a psych test, she told the co-hosts. The woman claimed that the medical examination was quite explicit and they tested her for five different types of sexually transmissible infections. The revelations about the horrendous auditions come a day after a bachelorette from season one of The Bachelor spilt the bins about what life is really like inside the mansion.